Dennis Violet, as a player, you looked up to him, firstly, because he could play. Secondly, he could score goals. He was a star. He had very good control. He was a terrific finisher. He was like two and three moves ahead. Before he'd even got the ball, he knew where it was going to go. He had everything, really. He was quick. He was clever with the ball. He scored a lot of goals. Scoring goals, it's a natural instinct. And Dennis was just a natural goal scorer. You can play the best football in the world. If you don't score goals, you're not winning the games. And of course, Dennis's goal scoring record stands apart to this very day. Dennis was, just, yeah, he became Dennis Violet. Oh. As far as Manchester United are concerned, we've had fantastic players all, over the years. And you know, Dennis is right up there with the best strikers that we've had. Being one of the Busby babes, you're forever in the history books. You just, you just can't be anywhere else. I think Dennis Violet, if I was picking the best Manchester United team ever, would be in it. We know each other, but Dennis was one of the great strikers ever. When Dad first came to America in the late 60s, the professional game was very unstable. It was an uphill battle from day one. You know, he left England where you know, he's a legend and comes here to help build the game. Oh, that's it! Jack Lowe! Dennis Violet, the hero of the moment in Baltimore. When you say the name Dennis Violet, people remember him as kind of a, an important part of the history of what happened here. He was the, the kind of the harbinger of things to come. He had probably more American players on his team at that time, in the early days, than most teams did in the league. When you look at it as a whole, the opportunity he created for for the United States and, and just to grow soccer. I mean, 20 years from now, 30 years from now, people are gonna look back and say, you know, Dennis was the one who got everything started here.